In a cozy little cottage, nestled deep within a lush, green forest, lived three bears, Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and their little baby bear. One sunny morning, Mama Bear cooked a delicious pot of porridge for breakfast. But oh dear! It was far too hot to eat. Let's take a walk in the forest while the porridge cools, suggested Papa Bear. So, off they went, leaving their warm and inviting home behind. Not far from the cottage, a little girl named Goldilocks was wandering through the woods. She was a curious child, always looking for new adventures. As she walked, she came upon the bear's cottage. Goldilocks knocked on the door, but no one answered. The door creaked open, and Goldilocks peeked inside, hello. Is anyone home? She called. But there was no reply. Feeling curious, Goldilocks decided to step inside, inside the cozy cottage. Goldilocks found three bowls of porridge on the table. Her tummy rumbled with hunger. She tasted the first bowl, ouch. This porridge is too hot. She exclaimed. She tried the second bowl, but this porridge is too cold. Finally, she tasted the third bowl and smiled. Um, this porridge is just right. And before she knew it, she had eaten it all up. After finishing the porridge, Goldilocks looked around and saw three chairs in the living room. She decided to sit down and rest. First, she tried Papa Bear's big chair, this chair is too big. She said, wobbling on the seat. Then she tried Mama Bear's chair, this chair is too big, too. She said, feeling a little uncomfortable. Finally, she sat in Baby Bear's chair, ah, this chair is just right. She sighed with relief. But suddenly, crack, the chair broke, and Goldilocks tumbled to the floor, feeling tired from her adventures, Goldilocks wandered into the bedroom. She saw three beds neatly made. First, she tried Papa Bear's bed, this bed is too hard, she said, frowning. Next, she tried Mama Bear's bed, this bed is too soft, she muttered. Finally, she lay down in Baby Bear's bed, ah, this bed is just right, she whispered, and soon, she drifted off to sleep. Meanwhile, the three bears returned home from their walk. They were looking forward to their breakfast, but when they entered the kitchen, they noticed something strange. Someone's been eating my porridge. Growled Papa Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge too. Said Mama Bear, and someone's eaten all my porridge. Cried Baby Bear, staring at his empty bowl. The bears moved to the living room, where they found their chairs out of place. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Papa Bear huffed. Someone's been sitting in my chair too. Mama Bear added, and someone's broken my chair. Baby Bear wailed, pointing at the broken pieces. The bears, feeling puzzled, tiptoed into the bedroom. There, they saw the beds. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, rumbled Papa Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed too, Mama Bear whispered, and someone's sleeping in my bed right now. Baby Bear squeaked. The bears leaned in closer, and saw Goldilocks fast asleep, in Baby Bear's bed. Just then, Goldilocks woke up, and saw the three bears staring at her. She gasped in fright. Without thinking, she jumped out of the bed, dashed down the stairs, and ran out of the cottage as fast as her legs could carry her. The bears watched as she disappeared into the forest, never to be seen again. The three bears looked at each other and chuckled. They were relieved that no harm had come to them or their home. Papa Bear turned to lock the door, Mama Bear tidied up the kitchen, and Baby Bear smiled as his family settled back into their cozy routine, knowing they'd be more careful next time, and as for Goldilocks. Well, she learned to always respect others' homes and never again let her curiosity get the better of her, the end.